What's going on you guys? Zade here on ZSPN. I want to give you all my thoughts and my opinions as it concerns the Lakers and the Jordan Clarkson of the world and you know Magic Johnson and this whole report that's saying that Magic Johnson is challenging Jordan Clarkson to become the sixth man of the year. And first off guys, if you haven't yet, please like this video and subscribe to the channel guys. I really appreciate the love and support you guys have been giving me on this channel. I mean, you guys are just amazing. I really appreciate every single one of you who views this video. And if you're viewing this video, please subscribe to the channel, like this video, and I'll, and I'll you know, really appreciate the love and support you guys have been giving me on this channel. And, but anyway, uh, the Los Angeles Lakers, Magic Johnson and Jordan Clarkson. Uh, where can I begin? <laughs> like this whole issue about uh, for 2018 free agency. Uh, you know the Los Angeles Lakers they want to get a superstar, and I guarantee you Paul George will probably be a Los Angeles Laker in 2018. But this whole issue about if somehow Jordan Clarkson becomes like a sixth man of the year contender or a candidate for it, then somehow the Lakers will probably, maybe, trade Jordan Clarkson for some assets, for some, for some assets, what they're saying, but at the same time, they want to clear cap space and I know some of you Laker fans out there and I feel the same way probably thinking you know what why should we get rid of Jordan Clarkson where we can get rid of other players like I don't know a Luau Dang contract I, mean, I understand that and I and I really want it to happen but at the same time I don't think nobody's gonna you know I just don't think Nobody in the NBA will possibly trade Lu somebody for Luau Deng's ridiculous contract. But at the same time, if the Lakers want to go that route and be on the safe side by just possibly attaching Jordan Clarkson with this certain Luau Deng contract, similar to a um, D'Angelo Russell and uh, Mozgov trade that happened a month ago, um, I can possibly see um, this sort of scenario, uh, similar trade. I mean, sure, I don't want to see Jordan Carson go because he shows great potential. He shows that he can be a sixth man of the year. I mean, the guy is a, is a great shooter, knows how to go to the rim, Knows how to pass the ball. Still needs to work on his defense a little. But at the same time, he is a decent shooting guard. But at the same time, if you want to be on the safe side and possibly sign a two max uh, superstars, um, possibly LeBron James, Russell Westbrook, maybe, uh, maybe Boogie Cousins. I mean, you never know, guys. In 2018, it's going to be very interesting. Very interesting for the Los Angeles Lakers. Because the reports are saying so far, it's all about the Lakers and 2018. Paul George to the Lakers. LeBron James, best fit for him for 2018 is the Lakers. Uh, Russell Westbrook returning to LA and playing for the Lakers. I mean, the list goes on and on. And personally for me, I just hate, I hate to see Jordan Carson go, but if you want to be on the safe side and, and you want to sign two max contracts and bring in some superstars, because the Los Angeles Lakers needs to get back to, I don't want to say royalty or anything like that, but that sort of respectable team again, where superstars come plays with the best team and the best franchise in the NBA, or basically in sports history. So, um, with this type of with this type of uh, talk between Magic Johnson and Jordan Clarkson being the sixth man of the year, it's just a sort of um, 
You know, guys, it's sort of like Magic Johnson is sort of baiting every NBA team to watch Jordan Clarkson, how he plays and how he performs and possibly become a sixth man of the year contender or a uh, some possibly win the sixth man of the year. I mean, it's sort of the comparison of what happened last year with Lou Williams uh, being that contender for the sixth man of the year, which I really thought he would have won. I mean, personally for me, I really wanted him to win it, but at the same time, Eric Gordon was the better uh, player for the sixth man of the year, and, you know, he deserves it. But at the same time, I really thought Lou Williams would have won it. But uh, anyway, with this type of, with this type of scenario, with Magic Johnson, Magic Johnson is uh, thinking, I think it's it's good for the organization. Um, if you want to be on the safe side, and you know possibly give as much money with two max uh, max superstar contracts, I think they should go for it. I mean, they already have it, but at the same time, if they need to, to be on the safe side, trade Jordan Clarkson. Now, some of you out there might be saying that we should trade uh, Julius Randle instead of Jordan Clarkson, but personally for me, guys, I've been seeing a lot of improvement from, uh, from Randle, you know? He's lost all that weight. I mean, I think he lost maybe up to 25 pounds. So the guy is trying to prove. He's trying to prove to Magic Johnson that, you know what, I'm here to stay. And you know what, if you want to give me a, and I probably deserve a contract that's worthy if I somehow perform next season as a breakout year for me. But at the same time, if we're looking forward to 2018, free agency you know it's going to be packed with superstars guys lebron james paul george russell westbrook boogie cousins i mean the the list goes on i mean i hate i hate to see jordan clarkson go but at the same time if you want to be on the safe side and get a decent um a decent uh contract for two max uh, players then trade Jordan Clarkson guys I mean I, I hate I hate saying this because I really like Jordan Clarkson but if you want to go back to being the Lakers the Showtime Lakers where superstars come play for your team that like the Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is Magic Johnson James Worthy I mean Shaquille O'Neal I mean the list goes on. There is some superstars who loved to play for the Los Angeles Lakers because it's a big brand and a well-respected team. So far, guys, for the past five years, we weren't. I mean, no key superstars, no key superstars uh, come played for the Los Angeles Lakers. Now, there's some arguments there that possibly Jim Buss was involved with this type of issue. But at the same time, uh, there was not a lot of key superstars that wanted to play for the Los Angeles Lakers. I mean, at one point, Carmelo Anthony was available. He didn't want to play for the Lakers. I mean, and we really thought that, you know, he has a home there. His wife, uh, you know, hosts a show in Los Angeles. Uh, but at the same time, you know, nothing worked out for the Los Angeles Lakers. And I believe 2018 will be the year that Los Angeles Lakers will bring in key superstars that will bring back the Lakers, um, the Showtime Lakers and the type of uh, glory that they had uh, in the past. And with this type of report, if they want, if they need to trade Jordan Clarkson, to be on the safe side for cap space, I think that's a perfect move for the Los Angeles Lakers. So guys, I wanna know your thoughts and your opinions. Is Jordan Clarkson going to become a sixth man of the year contender and possibly have 
Magic Johnson trade Jordan Clarkson in the process to save cap space for possibly a two, maybe three max contracts for 2018 to be on the safe side and possibly bring back the glory that the Los Angeles Lakers used to have? Or do you just believe that I think that with the money that we already have for the Los Angeles Lakers, uh, we could possibly bring in key superstars in 2018 without trading Jordan Clarkson. Please let me know in the comment section below. I really appreciate the love and support you guys been giving me on this channel. I mean, you guys are amazing. You're awesome. I really appreciate everything that you guys been, you know, showing me on this channel. I mean, it really shows that you guys care uh, about my thoughts and my opinions. And then also, guys, the comment section, what I've been seeing, you guys are brutally honest with your thoughts and your opinions about the Lakers. I mean, it really shows that you guys are diehard uh, Lakers, like Laker fans like I am. I mean, uh, go Lakers Nation. I mean, you guys are amazing. So please like this video, subscribe to the channel, guys, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.